Okay, today we're going into the famous audio gold in North London. So much gear, old and new, kind of hard to uh, get round it all and talk about it all. So, but I'll do my best and just going to kind of feast our eyes on all this stuff. And I'll do a little commentary here and there, but so much gear really. And also they would, I think, rent out stuff to, for films and things like this. You get cartridges in there. There's the uh, Graham's uh, Hi-Fi. Is it, you know, the Graham speakers. Can't remember what they're called. Graham something. Okay, let's go in. This is in North London, by the way. Bottom of Muswell Hill. Okay, so uh, selling records to... Let's go into this big room. This is where most of the new gear is. Some old gear, but uh, first thing is catching my eye, I can't help it, is these uh, giant clips. I think it's Clips Cornwall, three-way. That's a 15-inch bass driver, two horns, obviously like middle and top. Um, just make, I think filling the air is the, sound, is the description for those horn speakers. I did hear them, they did sound really, really sparkly and airy. Wolfdale Linton's there in the middle. Now, uh, these are, pretty sure these are the old Mission 770s. And I just want to say that tweeter, if you see that tweeter, that was an underappreciated tweeter. I always thought it sounded the best. Better than the T27, the Kef one actually, but... Uh, didn't seem to get used enough so if you see that tweeter i think it's a winner those are big l tacks i think that's french so it's kind of big it's a it's a big 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 speaker for the bucks i believe loads of turntables and now of course there's a jbl's on the right and these huge, <laughs> I, can't, I can't be, uh, I can't escape being attracted by these giant speakers. Uh, Tannoy's, of course, if you don't know, that's the tweeter. Yeah, right in the middle. Paper cone. Gonna make a huge sound. Gonna make a huge sound. You can adjust things there, obviously, and those are your ports are made in England. These tannoys are now made in England. There's so much stuff is made in China. These are old tannoys. Pretty damn sure they're old ones. That's uh, Graham's audio. Let's go along here. Audio Lab. I like Audio Lab. I mean, you kind of can't go wrong, I'd say. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay. Uh, Lieben. Now, is it Japanese or Chinese? I should know. Can't remember. Classy gear, for sure. Uh, another audio lab. Musical Fidelity. Okay, this turntable. 401. Uh, you know, with the SME arm. This shop has got the many SME arms, which I love their sort of delicacy and attack. I think it's a great arm. Uh, this one has the original SME head shell, which personally I'd change for a ADC or something, but, you know. Okay, these are, I thought these were new, but they are three old Rogers Cadet amplifiers. They all seem incredibly immaculate. There's a lot of stuff pretty immaculate in this shop, you know. Uh... Graham's LS6. These are the new ones next to the Tannoy's. Yeah, LS6. Graham's Audio. Graham Audio. They're making a whole range of stuff now. And here we have another, you know, more or less a whole shelf of different LS35As. One of them is the LS5. No, yes, the LS5, not A. Uh... Yeah, I, I couldn't I couldn't go into all the details about those here. Just haven't got time, but, you know, loads of... There's so much gear in this shop. It's bamboozling. 
That's the word, bamboozled. I have to spend like two days in it to calm down. Clips there in the middle. Okay, let's have a look along here. You've got your name. Thorin's 150 at the bottom. Next to a Lynn Sondek, I believe. I think the design of those two are very similar. Obviously, the Lynn is more refined. Uh, yeah, just have a look. I mean, as I say, shops are closing in the hi-fi world. So, you know, it's expensive to have a shop, but you can go in this shop and listen to things. Uh, it won't be cheap. It won't be cheap. So we're going, this is into the back room where the oldest gear, classic quad valve amps made in Huntingdon. Same as that, classic quad 303, Huntingdon, England. So many of those made, class amp, power amp, yeah? Okay, let's have a look at in here. Now I'm noticing these big dome tweeter. I can't help but love that. Ditton 551, not so well known, not so widespread. I mean, I always think a good three-way is better than a good two-way, but you do have to make sure those drivers integrate. And at least with a two-way, you don't have so much to integrate, so much kind of work in the crossover and stuff. But uh, let's have a look around here. Look at those Accuphase at the bottom. I'm kind of interested in those. And we have here big old Celestians. That's going to give you a lot of bass. Is it 25? Wolfdale E. E for efficiency. Not much power required. Sony. Technics. Kind of maybe an 80s Marantz, I'm thinking. And below that's the famous AR Cambridge. That JVC with its little uh, graphic equaliser. I got a bit obsessed with this. I don't know the power. They just look juicy, don't they? I've never heard Accuphase being not good, you know. This is an Accuphase preamp, and I think they call it a control console or something, stereo control console. Okay, let's have a look over here. See, I'm still obsessing with Accuphase. Um, okay, you know, classic techniques. Bass and treble for each channel there. Am I right? Yes, left and right. Bass and treble. And different sensitivity for the phono. And here's another... Silver Face Classic from the 70s, Rotel 603. I mean, it's got to be said, they were just trying to put as many buttons on as possible. But I, I don't mind it. <laughs> and here, right in the corner, I've got one of these. What a load of bass you get out of these. It's, it's mental. This amp has got so much grippy bass in the room. It's like having a battle with a, a wrestler really so much so kind of unique sound really not a bad sound i like it i definitely like it uh okay it's probably like 80s 90s tannoys super tweeters at the top there and i want to show you this uh reel to reel this revox because the build quality of these revox is uh, everything's metal it's like solid so, uh, you know, I think it'll outlive me. At one point, people thought, oh, well, you know, the real to real was the supreme uh, source ahead of a turntable, like late 60s, say. Okay, let's just have a look around this room. Now, those are Wolfdale Dentons. My brother had those. Punchy, millions of them made. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of like them, but uh, they're small. I don't think they have anything in relation to the new, or they have anything much in common 
to the new Dentons. The same as Blade Runner 1 has got nothing to do with Blade Runner 2, if you ask me. Okay, let's have a look along here. And in Kef's, there's an old uh, Tannoy driver. And some of the stuff, I think they rent this out for films. Okay, that's it. Thanks, Audio Gold. So much stuff. Uh, it's hard to know where to uh, end or where to start. Maybe I'll do another one of these sometime. Okay, bye for now.